Are you sitting in a space where you are struggling with anxiety? Do you feel like a prisoner to the cycles of depression? Do you feel stuck in your life and feel frustrated and lost, but yet you know there is so much more on the other side of this mental breakdown? I want to hold your hand through this therapeutic life healing journey. I will help you navigate emotional healing, spiritual growth, and taking action so you can align your mind, body, and spirit to completely transforming your life. You are worthy of the life of your dreams, of stepping into your power, and experiencing your breakdown as your breakthrough. Hey, I'm Adi. I'm a therapist, a mindset coach, and I want to partner with you so we can heal your life together. Welcome back to Therapeutic Life Healing with me, Adit, your host. Thank you so much for being here and spending your time with me. I value you and your time and you being here means so much. I want to talk to you today about a important proverb that will hopefully stick with you for ever, really. And it's the most important thing I want you to remember when you feel overwhelmed. Before I dive into the episode, I want to give out some shout outs to see folks tuning in from all over the world. I want to say hello to friends out in the U.S. I see you all the way tuning in from California, Washington, Texas, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Hawaii, North Carolina, Florida, Oregon, Idaho, Kentucky, just to name a few. Hello out in Canada, friends out in British Columbia and Alberta, Ontario. Thank you for being here. Friends out in Australia, I see you in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and friends all over in the world from India to Saudi Arabia, friends in Germany, Thailand, Norway, Philippines, South Africa. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy your stay. Check out some other episodes and I hope and trust that they will inspire you, empower you, and teach you along your healing journey. I would love, love, love if you could leave me a review and I read them all personally. They all are just so touching to read. I really appreciate and value your time in leaving me a review. This also helps me to reach more people just like you on their healing journey so they too can feel empowered on their healing journey. All right, friends, now let's dive into today's episode. Now, I talk a lot about overwhelm because it's something that we all face. It's something that we all struggle with. Overwhelm looks like relationship issues, physical or mental health illness, a demanding job, lack of sleep or financial distress and insecurities. A lot of us are facing significant life changes, time constraints, routines are changing, and Even in times of grief and loss, you might be facing a death of a loved one, personal traumas, and so all of that can over time lead to overwhelm and managing that can feel so difficult, especially in a world that feels so heavy at times. We're all much more susceptible and vulnerable to information flooding us because we just live in a new world where We have access to information at all times at the touch of a screen, really. It's between the TV, our phones, the computer. It's just information overload. Never in history has there been a time where we as humans have access to information all around the world about everything And in a matter of sometimes seconds or minutes, you can find out what's happening where you live. Then you can find out what is happening in another country nearby or further away from you. A lot of the things in the news that we watch is overwhelming. It's overstimulating. It's a lot to take in. And it's information from a lot of human suffering and worry or anxiety. And and it's just over time can become too much. You can be scrolling on your social media and seeing something happy from a friend who maybe just had a baby. Then the next thing you see is a bombing in another country or a mass shooting. It's just a lot to take in and it's overstimulating and overwhelming and it absolutely drives up our anxiety, our fears, our worries and can lead to depression and other mental 
illnesses. So it's important to really think about slowing down and setting boundaries around you that really guards your heart and guards your mind, especially at a time where we have so much technology and access to information that it's even now more important to insert boundaries around those things that really flood your nervous system and can really ruin your day, ruin your mood. So I have been practicing personally not picking up my phone in the first waking hours of my day, unless it's absolutely necessary and that's a one-off, but pretty much have been pretty consistent over the last couple months now of not accessing my phone first thing in the morning. I really try to leave some time for myself to be able to take the morning slowly and it doesn't have to take a whole lot of time. Sometimes I only have five minutes or 10 minutes, but I also don't rush to grab my phone, especially to get on social media. And that has made a huge impact on my well-being. And so part of today's episode, I really want to actually drive home a proverb that I think is really powerful. It's an African proverb, and I'll get into it in just a moment. But this is meant to really help you really focus on the tiny things that do matter in your day, the tiny things that you do have control over in a world that feels so big, so scary, and so much is happening around you that it can all feel too much and you shut down or you feel paralyzed by anxiety or fear or overwhelm. And so this episode is really meant to help you focus on the tiny things and the small things that make the world a better place, that make your day a better day. And that is what this proverb is meant to do. So do you feel like you're ready to hear it? (laughs) Um, I will get there in just a moment. I really want you to think about this for a moment. Do you feel like you're failing at trying to keep everything together? Does it feel like everything around you is a mess and you just want to give up? Well, friend, today I really want to give you some encouragement, and that is from the African proverb, which is a story that touched me recently. So without further ado, here it is. You know, there's an African proverb. It's about a hummingbird who sees the forest go up in flames, and it goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, bringing back mouth full of water to help put out the fire. And in this story, the other larger, more capable animals, they just look on at the hummingbird and they ask the hummingbird, hey, what are you doing? And the hummingbird replies, I'm doing all I can do to help. And that's the proverb. So the three main things I get from this story are, number one, we cannot fix everything. Let me repeat that. You can't fix everything. You can't. I can't. We can't. You can't. We can't fix everything. We all wish we could fix the entire world, but the truth is we can't. Compared to the world's problems, we are only a hummingbird. Sometimes it's good to remember this and put that into perspective. Even though it can feel bleak, it doesn't make sense to put too much pressure on yourself to fix everything around you. You simply just can't. Let that truth actually put you at ease. Number two, don't be like the other animals in this proverb. The other animals are looking down on the hummingbird. After all, it can't put out the fire on its own. Its efforts seem useless to the other animals. However, if the animals stopped doubting and helped, they would be more likely to make a difference all together as a team. So don't be someone who just stands by and doesn't do anything or nothing because you can't fix everything. There's a difference there. And so that leads us to number three. It's a noble thing to do your best. It's a noble characteristic and value to do your best. So there are many different ways the story could be interpreted, of course, but the main point that I want to leave you with, that it's admirable for the hummingbird to even try, even with its tiny little beak, to go back and forth and get water to put out this fire. It's the small contributions that make a difference. 
There is something beautiful in this hummingbird's hopeful effort, even when it feels bleak, even when it feels pointless. But to join in the efforts to make a difference as a team, as a community, and do what you can, and remembering that those tiny moments, those tiny efforts, those small steps every day, they add up and they will get you somewhere and they will make an impact on something. Now, it's the idea to release yourself from this everything at all times has to be this perfect situation. Instead, leaning into the moment of gratitude and celebration for the tiny steps, the tiny moments of impact that you have control over. So really focusing there. I really always kind of uh, go back to this affirmation or this this saying that I received um, when I went to a conference on self-empowerment. Uh, and it And uh, one of the speakers said, where focus goes, energy flows. And I really, really love that. So I use that in my own daily life. I use it with my clients. And I really try to reiterate this, that where you focus, your energy will flow there naturally. So if we can focus on those tiny steps, those small moments, those victories and integrate those wins and celebrate them then our energy will naturally flow there. And the overwhelm doesn't feel so big anymore. It doesn't feel paralyzing. The anxiety and the fear subside a bit or take a back seat for a while. And so it's about practicing this mindset to really help put you at ease. So I want you to think about this proverb and take it with you into your day. Integrate it wherever you feel the most overwhelm and think about how you can apply this African hummingbird proverb into that situation that you are struggling with. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining in. I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate the time that you take to be with me each episode and tuning in to really help you on your healing journey. It's when we come together as individuals to say we are ready to heal, we are ready to grow, we are ready to impact. And when we do that, Individually, we make a big impact collectively. And so I just want you to know that just the fact that you are listening to this podcast, you're trying to better yourself, it shows that you care and that you want to make the world a better place. And I really thank you for doing your part and making those small, tiny steps and impacts because they truly do make a difference. I wish you a warm holiday season. If you haven't already heard, I will be doing a live Zoom workshop on New Year's Eve. And the details are, if you follow me on Instagram, the details will be in my bio. You can also go to my website and find the Eventbrite link. And that event will be held on New Year's Eve. Details are to come on the time, but... Even if you can't join live, you will be able to receive that Zoom replay afterwards. It's going to be about an hour and we're going to set some intentions for the new year. I'm going to help you develop and pick your word for the year that you really want to embody. That's something that I've really done for myself each year at the start. And I really embodied that word for the rest of the year. It's grounded me and really I anchored in it. And so I feel it's very important to return to this pause at the end of the year to reflect and then also get excited to create new energy and direct your focus on the new year coming up so that you can really thrive in 2022, friends. And with that, I will see you next week. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for listening to the Therapeutic Life Healing Podcast. If you found this episode helpful, please take a moment right now and think of one friend you can share your biggest aha moment from this episode. And if you haven't already, please leave me a review. I read each and every single one of them. I know you're someone who values helping others. And by taking these actions, you help me help more people. And as a thank you, I would love to send you my free squirrel quiz to help you discover your unique life balance and boundaries. You can access this free quiz by going to aditsi.com and signing up. I hope you find the moments of peace throughout your week you so deserve. 
Be well, friend, and see you next Friday.